So I've just uh, installed my uh, two barrel rainwater system. Of course, on the week where there's least likely to be any rain, so I've decided to create my own rain through this garden hose. And now we'll find out quickly how dirty my gutter is and how little it's been cleaned. Ah! My artificial rainwater is continuing after a near uh, disastrous outcome, uh, aka the hose slipped out of the rain gutter. And uh, what I'm going to start testing here in a little bit, I figured I can always use this water at some point. Um, I want to watch and see how the overflow worked out. I, of course, the hose did not match the instructions and didn't have the end, but I managed to jerry rig it and I also have some hose clamps. So I believe this design will work in. Um, when this barrel gets full, it then uh, goes down inside this particular uh, secondary barrel here, which I won't fill, um, but I'll, that's pending, you know, a rainstorm probably. Okay, the uh, overflow should start filling in here shortly with the rain barrel. And we'll see if, oh, looks like I have a slightly in my water hydraulic thing here. Hold on. Okay, I think I fixed my overflow issue and clearly, even though my hose has now been off for quite a few issues, and it's um, again proof that the there is much more water volume in your garden hose than probably a typical rainstorm here in Utah. But um, the overflow does seem to be working, and I think it'll be a good alternative for collected rainwater. And I just have to figure out how to. I do have a hose to get on the bottom of these, and we'll hook it to it. And, we're going to water. Kathy usually has some plants here that we'll just water with it for fun. Thanks.